We're breaking out the Bintac M car today. This is video number two with the M car. We primarily focused on accuracy in that first video. This one, I wanna focus on accuracy still, but I wanna delve into the power a little bit and show you what this thing can do. It's a multi-purpose gun. It's a competition shooting gun. It has a match grade barrel, but this can also be used for hunting. So I think it makes sense to show off the power of this as well. In that first video, I mentioned that the trigger on this is very good. It's probably one of the best triggers that I've shot on any rifle, extremely light. I try to get how much weight it takes to pull it, but this didn't even register on it. So it could potentially be under one pound because I think this needs at least one pound to register. So don't hold me to that, but it's very light. And I just wanted to reiterate real quick, this is a 457 model, but the barrels on this are very easy to swap around and they come in various calibers. You have 457, 495, 510, and then you have 58 caliber for this. So plenty of big bore option variety right there. Last but not least, I mentioned in the last video, this is a 4,500 PSI model, but it has a 7,000 PSI regulator and kit available for this. Let's get started. A big thank you to Tom at Bluegrass Big Boar for sending out this Bintac M car for me to try out today. All right, we got some new ammo today. I got this directly from Bintac. I'm not sure what the brand is, but this is 337 grain slugs. We're gonna sight in at 50 yards. I had this last at 100, so I just gotta make sure that we're on target here and then we'll go ahead and do our tests. I took a guesstimate of where we should be, so let's go for center bullseye and adjust from there. All right, looks like we're pretty good. Let's do a group on this and see how well these group at 50 yards and then we're gonna move on. Let's go for that far left center line. All right, we put three rounds on target. We have pretty much one giant hole, so I'm decently satisfied with this ammo. Let's pop a soda, take the cap off, and then blow the soda away. Soda is down range. Let's pop the cap. For some reason, my chronograph was not reading, but should be now. That was just a hair high, 888 feet per second. I didn't get a second shot on that. I was hoping to blow it up, but the cap went flying into the air and that thing just exploded. Damn it. Let's do a ballistics gel test. Up first are these Bintac slugs, the 337 grains. Then I'm gonna switch up to the Mr. Hollow Point slugs. 365 grain. Let's see what one of these Mr. Hollow Points do. So with those Bintac slugs, so far we're 888 twice, 886 for velocity. We're going back to those. We have an apple, a coconut, and then I have my little ice capade frozen water balloon. It's taking refuge behind that coconut. We're gonna have to go for a twofer here. Well, looks like we got a triple whammy. Took out my target as well. Let's finish off with the um, the ice down there. All right, we stepped it up to 70 yards. Let's use that ammo from Bintac. I'm just gonna bump this up, take a best guesstimate. Let's go for center bullseye. Let's go for the hole I just put in there. I think we're zeroed now. Let's do one more and just make sure. I pulled that one just a tiny little bit. Let's go for the far left center line. If anyone's wondering why that would be a little high, the velocity has been 886, 884 for every single one of these rounds. So no jump in velocity on that. Went through that same hole up top. Okay, that begs the question. We need to do one more because that went even higher. Let's go far right side. Bump the scope down just a tiny little bit. All 
I'm not sure if I really like this ammo, honestly. It was doing pretty good at 50. I was trying it out yesterday at 100 and it was doing very well, but today it's not really playing nicely. Let's go for that headshot, top middle headshot. Let's do two more up there and then we're gonna move on. All right. Let's switch over to this Mr. Hollow Point ammo. Let's do the top right headshot now. Yeah, this stuff seems to be doing better. I haven't touched the scope yet, I'll do that in a second, but seems to be better. Yep, this stuff works much better. So, I'll just adjust this really quick. Let me do that top left head shot. You can't ask for any better than that. I only have 15 more of those, so I'm gonna have to use those sparingly. Those were 854, 851, 844, 851. So very consistent still. Let's blow up some targets now. All right, we got a golf ball set up down there. Let's pop that and then let's hit that watermelon in the bunghole. Well, I think I got a hole in one. Let's uh, pop that bunghole. See how these Mr. Hollow Point Hollow points do. 365 grain straight into the bung. We have some remnants left, so let's just clean this up a little bit and then we'll put some more stuff down there. Okay, I got a brick and I'm gonna put a paver up, so let's take care of those next. All right, hopefully we do this in two rounds. I want to save these Mr. Hollow points for 100. And then drop a Texas star right after this. Let's go for that brick first. Goodbye. It's now rubble. That thing just turned that into powder. <laughs> I can still see it. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the Texas Star. I'm gonna grab my Texoma Precision Pellet, 300 grain rounds and do that. I'm just gonna sight in on this target real quick. I'm not gonna show that because that's boring and then we'll just move on to 100. Let's use these TPP slugs and take down that star. Hey, wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> One last thing before we move on, I just want to see how well this slaps around that dueling tree, then we'll move on to 100. Now, Will Smith's known for the slap hurt around the world, but I think all credit should go to this, because this thing's about to turn that dueling tree into a little... See how fast it turned around? Look at that, it even turned the other one around with it. Let's move on to 100. Okay, 100 yards is up. We're going back to the ammo I got from Bintac. Middle bullseye. Do two more, see how this group's down there. When I did a little trial run with this yesterday, this put pretty much, say 10 or 12 rounds through the same bullseye. It was doing better than that, I'll tell you that. Okay, so we got two through the same hole. Let's see if we can get another one through that hole on the bottom left. Let's do three more rounds. We're gonna go for that far left center line. I don't wanna jinx it, but apparently this is doing better at 100 than it was doing at 70. I don't know what's up with that. Last shot. Like, that's a respectable group. I just have to bump it up a little bit, but I don't know. It was doing better at 100 than it was at 70, so I have one more box of this. Let me do, like, a couple more groups of this. I want to see how consistent this is, and then we'll continue blowing stuff up and wrap this up. Okay, let's go for that far right center line.
All right, so we seem to be getting decent consistency with this. We'll get two or three shots that land through the same hole, but then we get some, I don't know, they're not really big flyers, but they're an inch or so off, so. Texoma Precision Pellet works still, I'd say, the best out of all these slugs. The Mr. Hall point would be number two, and then these are probably number three. I'm not sure if this changes at further distances or whatnot, because this seemed better at 70 than it did at 100, so I'm not sure what's up with that. So, we're gonna put these away. We're gonna wrap up with the Mr. Hall point and the Texoma Precision Pellet. So let's do that and finish up real quick. Interesting thing, I found a golf ball out there. I don't understand what happened to it. It blew out the back, but in the front where it hit, it has like this golf tee sized hole through it. So I'm not sure, I've never seen that happen before. I'm not sure what happened. Kind of interesting. I changed my mind, I'm gonna use the ammo I have from Bintac just cause I have so few rounds of the other ones. I have seven of the Mr. Hollow Point and like six of the Texoma. So let's go to 100 yards. Um, I want to pop the soda off that five gallon jug first. Soda is gone. I think I just put a hole through the cap, but I'm not sure. Cap just got yeeted. That one was not in the stratosphere though. Let's put around into the top half of that jug. On the left, we have a center block. Let's take that out first. That is gonzo, turned to rubble. Now we got a cement block. I'm hoping to wrap things up with a two to 300 yard video if I'm able to get access to a range. Hopefully I get access to that and then we can take this out to longer distances the only thing is, I'm gonna need to grab more of the TPP slugs and the Mr. Hollow points. I probably have enough of the slugs from Bintac to do a video at two to 300, but I'm thinking the other ammo is probably gonna be my number one choice for accuracy at range. So far, those two rounds are the best and the most consistent. So I'm gonna grab some more of those and then hopefully we get to stretch out to two to 300 yards in the next video. All right, see ya.